So you don't need a pulser to do equine stress control therapy, and what I'm going to show you now is how to do a full body tap down using your hands and the bony structure on the horse to conduct the message to the brain. And if your horse is not head shy, you would start on the head. If he is head shy, you would start at a neutral position, such as the top or the bottom of the scapula, the withers, or the hips. If he is a kicker, then you would start somewhere on the forehand, on the neck, or on the head. So the object is to know your horse and to know where he is going to be reactive. Sinclair is a fairly even-tempered horse with the exception of his right hind leg. He's a little sensitive there, but we've gotten over that. So I will show you the full body tap down from front to back. Just remember when you do it to pick a position because there's really no uh, firm set order to do it in. Good place to start is on top of the temporal fossae, left, right. Now he's thinking I'm asking him to back up. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and nine. Another place is the bridge of the nose. One and two and three and four and five and six. It is soft tapping. You do it 25 times. One and two and. Seems to like it there. Another place is on the facial crest here, left, right. I'm tapping very lightly, left, right, rhythmically, not being invasive. If I were doing this on my own face, it would feel good. Another place is on the supraorbital process here. Again, left, right. I'm not doing it 25 times each time. I'll leave that to you to do it, but that's generally the protocol. It fairly follows the human protocol. With horses, we tend to do it less often and for shorter durations because it seems to work on them more quickly. Another place on the forehead, uh, on the face, is here on the mandibles, the bony ridges on the round part of the cheeks. And he has very prominent bones here, left, right. Another place is the back of the head. On the atlas and the axis, the first two vertebrae, you will feel them protruding, and that's where you tap. Usually your hand can reach one and two and three and four and so forth. Not on the pole, that is very sensitive, on the atlas and the axis. So now I'm going to reposition him a little bit because we're going to start going down his body. You have the bottom of the scapula, left, right, 25 times, one and being one count. You have the carpals, evenly. A little harder now, the tapping can be harder because the signal has longer to travel through the bones to the brain. And on the pasterns, left, right, again. And on the hoof, you can use the end of a crop to tap down there if you don't want to bend over. Position him again. Good boy. On the body, you start with the top of the scapula here, where the round part of the shoulder bone merges into the ligaments that tie it to the withers. So you can tap a little harder again one and two and three, and it would be as though you were tapping your shoulders or your knees about that intensity. Again, 25 times. You can also just tap on the withers because they are right near the spinal column. And so that takes the signal up through the spinal cord into the brain. A good way to do it all along the spinal column is to start here, 
at the bony protrusion and work all the way down the spinal column from the withers all the way down to the dock of the tail. Now he'll stand for me, we'll do it, just so he knows I'm not going to hurt him. Good boy. All the way down to the dock of the tail, left, right, symmetrically. He just let out a nice sigh and then coming back up again. All the way back to where you started. Mm-hmm. That's right. You have this part of your body too. Then on the hind end, you can do the point of the hips. And again, you can be tapping a little bit more firmly here, 25 times. You can tap the carpals here and the fetlocks and the hooves. And if they're not injured on the hocks, you can also do the back of the hocks 25 times. Now it may be that your horse ends up with a favorite place. For most horses, it tends to be somewhere here in their neutral zone where they groom each other, either on the withers, either on the top of the scapula, or down their backbone. So if you're not sure where to start on a horse, this is usually a good neutral position. Again, to review, you spend 25 taps on each point. You look for symmetrical bony structure. Tapping on the fleshy part is not useless. It's just that the conductance of the signal isn't as clear to the brain. And give the horse a break. You can do a full body tap down. You can choose certain points. You can start from the head and move back. Or you can make up your own pattern for the particular wishes of your horse. And they'll be pretty uh, demonstrative on what they like and what they don't like. Let's go back to the front of him where he was a little bit reluctant and see how he's doing now. He's not moving away the way he was in the beginning because I think now he understands this is what we're doing. And he's also good with the nose. Yes, there you go.